you might have missed it even if you were looking right at it. The old Elmwood building at the corner of Barrington and South Streets moved off its original foundation with a whisper. It went perfect. It went perfect. We, uh, we, let, we stayed awake last night, wondered about it, but it worked good. The first push was just 15 feet back. Two excavators and a tow truck pulled it on a steel frame. Didn't use the rollers, we used uh, soap. The soap, ivory soap, is give us a, a smooth uh, of uh, sliding it. Ivory soap. Ivory soap, uh, 700 kicks of ivory soap. <laughs> How many bars is that? That's 700 bars of soap, that's 700 bars. Rushton worked with his son's company on the job. The family says they have to use ivory because it's the softest. This is a 220 ton house and it was built in 1826 so it's very, uh, very <laughs> fragile like we had to be careful with it so. They eventually gave it a second push, another 15 feet. The building was originally a one-story home and became the Victorian Elmwood Hotel about 120 years ago. It's been an apartment building for the past few decades, but it was almost lost. But they had a demolition permit in hand and, and this building could have been gone five years ago. Instead, the previous owners sold to developers Tony and Elias Metledge. They're restoring the Elmwood and putting up a nine-story apartment building beside it. The building is now protected as an important figure in the local Heritage Conservation District. Councillor Way Mason lived there himself as a student. You know, every room was a weird different size and the kitchens were an afterthought, but it was lovely. A new foundation will go in next, and then the Elmwood will be moved back into its permanent home. And for Rushton's team, it's an easy cleanup. That's well, when we're done with this job, all we do is wash our hands. Okay. <laughs> Haley Ryan, CBC News, Halifax.